Hey there, Coach Devin here. A couple days ago, I did a video on Gymshark. Gymshark is the clothing line, uh, and they usually post a lot of people who are ripped to death. They've got women with crazy abs, guys with crazy abs, everybody looks ripped to death, and the guys half the time don't even have shirts on, so you don't even know how, how they're really selling things, but you know, what, do you even make shirts, Gymshark? You know, that type of thing. The women are ripped, and, and Gymshark has become a super popular brand in fitness. Fitness, people love Gymshark. Women love Gymshark. A lot of men love Gymshark. Uh, the clothing line itself is pretty good. A lot of people really like it. Uh, and they posted a picture uh, a little bit ago. This is it right here. And as you can see, it is a model who is not their normal, typical model. She's, she's not ripped to death. She's not dice. She doesn't have crazy abs, you know, glistening in the sun. <laughs> That's not who she is. She looks like a normal person. And you know what, I thought when I saw it, I'm like, that is awesome. They sh you know, you should do that. Let's push out some positivity because she looks like a woman who is average, normal, and she's going to work out. She's wearing gym clothes. So like for me, I was like, oh, good for her. Like, you know, she's going out and doing something positive. Here we go. That's a positive set. And as you can see from this picture, Gymshark got a ton of social media praise on that. And this is, here's an average picture from Gymshark. So you can see the difference is astronomical, like 22,000 comments. That tells you that that picture spoke to people and it inspired people. People were not saying that's gross and disgusting. People said, I like that. That, that, that makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel like I could do this. I support Gymshark. It's great. I was super pumped. I thought it was awesome. And then I started thinking, I'm like, wait a second, where's the picture for guys? You know, their guys are just diced. I mean, this is this is what a guy looks like on Gymshark, or this is what a guy looks like on Gymshark. I'm like, where where's the guy pictures here? And I made a video about it because I thought, you know what? This is this is a little bit, it's stereotypical, it's a little bit ridiculous, it's a dual standard. Like, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? I mean, if you're gonna post a picture of an average woman and we applaud you for doing it, where's your picture of an average guy? I mean, the woman in the picture is an attractive woman, but she's a little bit heavier. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not criticizing that. What I'm saying is it was awesome they did it because they're inspiring a ton of people with that type of thing. And that's, that's great. And uh, so I made a video on it because I thought, you know, this is, this is a double standard. I don't like double standards in general. I don't think double, I didn't, wasn't raised in a house where double standards are cool. Uh, I, I was raised in a very progressive house. Uh, so, you know, there was no question in my house uh, my mom and dad, and I, you know, my dad is 83 years old now. My mom passed away a couple of years ago. She was in her late 70s. And in our, in our house, you know, there was no question. Of course, women should be as paid as much as men. That's ridiculous if you think anything different. And of course, gay people should get married. What's in any of your business? Why, why do you care? Uh, you know, things like that. My parents were very progressive, especially for their age. I mean, nowadays, we, we a lot of people take that as just as normal. But we're talking, you know, the 70s and 80s. That was not a predominantly normal thing for people to say. So I grew up in a household that was super progressive. And my parents were big on, you know, fairness. And so, you know, if one sex can do it, then another can. If one race can do it, then another can. We didn't, you know, my parents were big on, you know, it, it doesn't matter if a person's black, white, green, purple, whatever. You respect them because of who they are. It has nothing to do with skin color, eye color. Height, weight, whatever you respect. You know, so I grew up in that environment. So I like what I consider fairness. You know what I mean? I, I can I like that. And you know what? So I, I made a video on it and I and I complain in the video, and I'll put the video down in the comments down below, that I thought, you know what, this is this is unreasonable. I don't think this is cool. Jim Shark should be better than that. If you're going to say it's okay for women to be out of shape in your advertising, where the hell are the guys? What's going on here? And you know what? I now I don't know if Jim Shark listened to me. <laughs> I, I you know what? I I don't have a ton of followers here. Uh, I have a little bit of social media reach, but not a lot. I'm not a big dog. But lo and behold, Jim Shark actually followed through, and they did a picture of an average guy wearing their gear. Here it is, right there. As you can see, he's a normal looking guy. He's not super handsome. He's not an ugly man, but he's not super handsome. He's not ripped to death. He's an average dude. And to me, I was like, good on you. It's about time we start seeing that. I get it. I own a gym. I get what we're trying to, to, to broadcast out here, right? We're trying to broadcast out. 
this is the ideal that people are looking for. If you look at a CrossFit gym, you know, they're posting pictures of people with abs popping out, shirts are off, everybody's pouring sweat, right? Every gym posts positive stuff out there. I mean, we don't post bad things. We don't post negative stuff. Why do we not post it? Well, because, you know what? Exercise is hard on its own. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be any harder, right? And Jim Shark was trying to, it has been, consistently trying to show super fit people wearing this stuff. And that I guess the thought is, okay, you too can look like this if you wear Jim Shark. I get it. I get the advertising side of it. But you know what makes me happier is the fact that maybe we're going to start advertising just normal. I'm not a fan, and I've said it before, I'm not a fan of the dad bod. And the dad bod to me is the give up bod. Or the mom bod, I guess. You could say the same thing for that. It's the give up bod. I had kids, and now I'm just giving up. I don't care anymore. I don't like that. But what I love is someone saying, you know what? Life got in the way. I got out of shape. It happened. And I'm working toward my goals again. I want to get fit again. I want to feel better. That stuff, I think, is amazing. That, that's stuff that you need to applaud and be proud of and say, hey, those are the people that I love to work with in my gym. Because you know what? Life does happen. Things do happen. I hate the idea of saying I'm giving up. I know people who have given up. I, you know, years ago, I remember I, I knew this couple and they just, they didn't care. It didn't matter. They're like, nah, it doesn't matter. We're together now. Who cares what we look like? Doesn't matter. We have kids now. Who cares? And you know what? That kind of attitude to me is stupid. I hate it. But I love the idea of somebody who says, I've been in a position where I got sick. For example, I got sick a few months ago. Got out of shape. Sucked. Had to work my ass off. You know what? Got back in shape. It's doable. Or somebody who says, you know what? I had to work a ton. I'm a single mom. I'm a single dad. That kind of thing to me, that's uplifting. To see now Jim Shark pushed out a picture or two pictures now. Uh, of people who are not super fit saying, hey, guess what? You know what? These people wear Gymshark too. Why? Because we're all striving together. We're all working in the same idea, right? We all want to get fit. And this is the stuff that I talk to clients about every day. I say to people, say, you know, I don't want to come to your gym, Devin, because, you know, you have to be fit to come there. And I'm like, what? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You know why? We all start someplace. No one is born ripped. No one is born super fit. No one is born with big muscles. Not that I have that big muscles, but you know what I mean? No one is born huge. Everybody works for it. Just everybody works for it. That's how it goes. So when somebody comes to a gym and they're scared, we've all been there. And I think that's what's great about this ad. This ad is saying, hey, you know what? You're there and you want to go over here. Like you want to look like the other Gymshark models. And we applaud you because we're, we've got your back. We're there for you because we've all been there too. That's cool. That's uplifting. That's positive. And that, I think, is how, in general, advertising should be more like. It should say, hey, you know what? I'm an average person and I'm working toward my goals. And you know what? And I'm proud of the fact that I'm working toward my goals. Yes, I don't look the way I want to look yet, but who cares? I'm working. I'm trying. It's like that old saying with the, you know what? You may not be going 100 miles an hour, but you're still blowing past the person who's lying on the couch. Those are facts. That's just a fact. You're ahead of the person who isn't doing anything. So to me, Jim Shark deserves a huge high five. Good for them. And let's hope maybe some other companies start getting into this. And start saying, you know what? Let's talk about average bodies. Let's say average body. Yeah, that's okay. You're working toward a goal. You're athletic. You're trying hard. We want to give you props for that. 100% I'm on board with that. And I think it's amazing that we are going in that direction. That is a good direction for all of us to go. I think it, building people up, that's the most important part. You just got to build people up. It's super important to do that. And in this case, I love the fact that Jim Shark's doing it. Kudos to Jim Shark. It's amazing. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. A lot of these things come from people writing me or saying to me in the gym, hey, Devin, what do you think of that? 
and I tend to get a little opinionated on, uh, on fitness stuff, and so I want to give my opinion on it. This was uh, actually from somebody in the gym showing me the Gymshark picture, the original one with the lady, and saying, hey, what do you think of that? And I thought, that's awesome. And then I started thinking, I made a video. Then someone else, my client Ashley Collins, a little shout out to Ashley, she said, hey, by the way, they posted another one. There's a guy down, and I went, okay, you know what? I have to do a video on that, because to me, that's positive, that's good, we're going in the right direction. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.